<laughs> if somebody said to you, you need to fish like a sissy, you'd think they were crazy. See this? This can be a real problem with a traditional Carolina rig. The weight that I use is usually heavier and bulkier, and the lure tends to be heavier and bulkier. It gets full of weeds or gets hung up on rocks. That's when fishing like a sissy isn't so crazy. I go to the Carolina rig that's called a finesse Carolina rig. Again, I call it a sissy rig. I do that because I'm using lighter gear. Obviously, a spinning rod. I'm also using a lighter line and a lighter lure. The reason I use all this lightweight gear is because I need to get through the weeds. This weight is considerably smaller, it, and it's also pointed, and it gets through the weeds a whole lot easier. The lure, much lighter, and I use it not only in weeds, but when the fishing gets tough, you gotta size down. So I really like using a five inch power finesse worm. It's really, really effective. But don't, don't think it's crazy to be a sissy. Sometimes being a sissy really works. Now the traditional Carolina rig still has one more problem, and that's rocks. I have a confession to make. For this next adjustment, I did something no bass angler would admit to, and I had to go to the walleye aisle. The reason is simple. Walleye love rocks, and so do bass. My trip to the walleye aisle was for this. It's a snag-proof slip sinker, and it has a rattle in it. The reason it works is because when you cast over the rocks, it hops along the top of them, not getting snagged up, not wasting your time. Unlike a traditional Carolina rig, the weight is so heavy that it gets snagged and you break off all the time. This one also has the rattle. You don't need a bead. It's really simple. Doesn't matter how you do it. It all adds up to one thing, and that's catching fish.